All right, guys, today you're going to learn all about service dogs. So you might be wondering, what is a service dog? A service dog has been specially trained to help their handler with a disability. When someone experiences a disability, that means that certain things such as waking up, brushing teeth, or maybe even going to school could be pretty challenging. Disabilities can come in many different shapes and sizes. Some people who experience a disability may have trouble hearing sounds the same way most other people would, or other people with a disability might have trouble walking and might need help getting up and moving around. Many people who experience a disability are able to function to their full ability by having just a little extra help. For example, someone who has trouble walking might get around very well by using a wheelchair or even a cane. Service dogs get to go everywhere with their handlers because they help their handlers do better in their everyday lives. Finn is a service dog specially trained for his handler, Ada. You might see Finn and Ada around school, and that's why you're learning about service dogs today. You'll likely observe Finn hanging out underneath Ada's desk during class time or walking around next to her on a leash during recess. When you see a service dog in public, whether at school or at the mall or the movies or a restaurant, it's very important that you don't distract them. Speaking with the handler like you would with a friend is absolutely okay, but reaching out to pet a service dog or talk to them can be very distracting. You see, service dogs go through a lot of training because it's important that they know how to ignore everyday distractions. Otherwise, it can be potentially dangerous for their handler. Remember that person we talked about with the wheelchair? Well, just imagine if their wheelchair stopped working suddenly. That person wouldn't be able to move around as well. And it's the same thing with service dogs. Ada is bringing Finn to school because he helps her. But Ada also enjoys making friends and being a kid, just like you. When you approach another student, like Ada with a service dog, it's okay to interact with them, just as long as you don't pet their service dog. And here's a sneak peek of one of the cool things that Finn does for Ada. Notice how he comes over to give her a hug if she isn't feeling well. Now let's recap. One, service dogs are specially trained to help with a disability. Two, Finn is Ada's service dog, and you might see him hanging around school. Three, distracting a service dog can be dangerous for their handler. So talk to the handler, but don't talk to the service dog. If you have any questions about service dogs, your teacher is a great resource for answering questions.